Hello, and welcome to the Legacy Education ICD 10 CM Guideline Review Series. I am Tiffany Roach, the Coding Coach, and I will be walking through the ICD 10 CM guidelines with you. This video will cover the chapter specific guidelines for Chapter 5 Mental, Behavioral, and Neurodevelopmental Disorders that are represented by categories F01 through F99. This presentation is designed to review the ICD-10 CM guidelines that are effective for both fiscal year 2024 and 2025. There are no new changes to the guidelines from 2024 to 2025. When you have a pain disorder that is related to psychological factors, you should use code F45.41. Keep in mind that there is an excludes one note that indicates that a code from category G89 for chronic pain should not be assigned with this code. Code F45.42 should be used with a code from category G89 when there is documentation of a psychological component for a patient that has acute or chronic pain. When coding for substance use in remission, it is important to review the documentation and assign a code for in remission based on the clinical judgment of the provider. If medical substance use disorder is in early or sustained remission, you should use the appropriate code for the substance abuse in remission. If moderate or severe substance use disorder is in early or sustained remission, a code from the substance dependence in remission should be used. When a provider refers to use and abuse of the same substance, you should only assign a single code to identify the pattern of use. This is based on a hierarchy with dependence being the highest, abuse in the middle, and then use being the lowest. If use and abuse are documented, it should you should assign the code for abuse. If abuse and dependence are documented, you should only code for the dependence. If all three are documented, use, abuse, and dependence, you should assign only the code for dependence. If use and dependence are documented, only the code for dependence should be assigned. Again, dependence trumps both use and abuse, and then abuse trumps use. Codes for unspecified psychoactive substance use, categories F10 through F16 and F18 through F19, should only be assigned based on your provider's documentation. These codes should only be assigned when the documentation supports that the psychoactive substance abuse is associated with a substance-related disorder, such as sexu sexual dysfunction, sleep disorders, or mental or behavioral disorders that are found in Chapter 5. When a medical condition is due to substance use, abuse, and dependence, they are not classified as substance-induced disorders. To code for these conditions, use the alphabetical index for the condition, along with the appropriate psychoactive substance use, abuse, or dependence code. As the example shows, alcoholic pancreatitis due to alcohol dependence has two codes. First, K85.2 for the alcohol-induced acute pancreatitis, as well as F10.20 for the alcohol dependence uncomplicated. When your blood alcohol level is recorded and the provider has documented a condition that is classifiable to category F10 for your alcohol-related disorders, a code from category Y90 can be assigned in order to represent the blood alcohol level. Factitious disorders, also referred to as Munchausen syndrome, is a disorder when a person falsely reports or causes his or her own physical or psychological signs or symptoms. If it is documented that the factitious disorder is imposed on oneself, the appropriate code from subcategory F68.1 should be assigned. Munchausen syndrome by proxy, or also known as MSBP, as well as factitious disorder imposed on another or factitious disorder by proxy, is when a caregiver falsely reports or causes an illness or injury in another person under his or her care. When, or this can be a child or an adult, or even an individual with a disability. When the perpetrator, such as your caregiver, receives this diagnosis, you should assign code F68.A to the perpetrator's record. For the victim suffering from your Munchausen syndrome by proxy, 
you should assign the appropriate code from category T74 or T76, depending on whether it is confirmed or suspected based on the documentation. Categories F01 through F03 represent dementia based on the etiology and severity, such as mild, moderate, severe, or unspecified. The code selection for severity should be based on the provider's clinical judgment and documentation. If the documentation does not provide information about the severity, you should assign the code for your unspecified severity. As always, thank you for supporting us and make sure to stay tuned for the next videos in our uh, ICD-10 CM guideline review. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can be in the know of our newest videos that are released.